Hello, hello, hello. It's that time again. Oh, shit. Okay, well, who's first? Error. You're apparently first for Shadow Judgment. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all just jumped right forward. It's like, we're gonna be first today. Damn it. <laughs> Janet, I love you. Sorry. Mark Homer Picture Show is just always gonna have that place in my heart. And I will forever love it because I saw that all by myself. I did not see it with anybody else except for one time. But other than that, I've actually watched... That was one of the first movies I actually got to watch by myself. And I absolutely loved it. Because I was sitting there talking shit about everything. And then I found out how the 70s worked. And it's like, oh, I was born in the wrong fucking time. But then I read up on police brutality. No. No, I wasn't. I'm fine just where my happy ass right is right now. Never mind. <laughs> Anyway, so air signs. This is your shadow of judgment. This is for the week of today, which is the 26th. I should have done it this morning, but I just forgot. Um, five, to November 2nd, I think. I don't know. I need to look at a calendar. Two seconds. Let me just see on my computer. And I will tell you in like two seconds. Yeah, second. I was right. I was right. I need to stop doubting myself. Oof. Okay. So from October 26th to November 2nd. Oh my God. The year is almost up, you guys. Can you believe that? It's fucking insane. All right. Gemini, you're up first. Remember, air signs. This is for sun, moon, rising, leave. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Right? If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. After all, it's just a card game, you know. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Let's see. You guys have decisions to make with the Two of Swords. Gemini, you're up first. Let's see. You're trying to go somewhere. I think you're trying to leave someplace. Or someone around you is trying to leave someplace. Even though their cups are filled, but it's like they gotta restrict themselves. They gotta pull themselves away. Like, nope, nope, nope. You close your fucking mouth, you. You know? And this is all in order to get out of a bad headspace, you know? This came with decisions as well. You're trying to find some peace of mind, patience with yourself, I think. Because this whole stuff has had you feeling like you've been stuck for a while. You haven't been able to move forward. Occasionally, possibly fighting some motherfuckers. Could be a cancer. You know, you might, like, actually, I was just talking to a, a Gemini friend of mine. And she was telling me about that. <laughs> so that was interesting. Then we got the three of... Yeah, it's like you're leaving because you you or remember crosswatch your switch were necessary because it seems like you're just done with trying to work shit out. Period. Over with it. No good. You know, it's not it, like you it, like you're trying to find peace while you're restricting yourself back, but it's causing you a lot of unrest too. It's like you can't relax. You know. But there you are, Gemini, the lovers. You know, maybe you just can't focus because someone's in your fucking way. Maybe you have decisions to make and you're not sure where to go and that's what's frustrating you. That could be the case, too. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Okay, Gemini, you are like... I feel like for your week, you're definitely set on, like, trying to figure some stuff out. I just feel like you're kind of stuck in what you want to figure out. You know, you got, you're restricting yourself to try to bring peace or some shit. And it could be with the other person you're dealing with. But that's not giving you a break of any sorts either. And walking away seems like a kind of decision you want. But there's also this sense of like, maybe things won't work out if I do this. However, you got the hermit here and you're looking inside on that shit, right? Because, you know, you want to get out of this bad headspace. Feeling like you're stuck, unable to move forward, and you just want to be yourself again. And you're looking over everything to make sure you examine as best you can this week, really. That's yours, Gemini. I'm not going to throw extra out. I'm trying to get these out in a hurry. And I feel like I take too long anyway. These never used to take this long. I don't know what happens. 
Anyway, that was yours, Gemini. You have a lot of stuff to think about, if you will. Libra, it's your turn. Get up here, you beautiful bastards and bitches. Oh, my beautiful bitches. Yeah. Oh, my beautifully tortured bitches. Oh, look at that. Like, someone's got anxiety. Would you look at it? Would you look at that? It just shakes and shit. All about a separation? Ooh. Are you s separating with somebody, Libra? Because it does seem like you're losing a little bit of sleep over it. You know? Possibly with a water sign? Cancer Pisces Scorpio? Seems like he's a jealous prick. Very selfish. Where'd jealous come from? And there's a jealous for him. Hmm. That's weird. I guess jealousy is there since I said that. <laughs> but he's usually really selfish too. Doesn't think very much of other people's feelings as much as his. You know, act, uh, like he acts more like a girlfriend than he does a, a, a king. You know, where's my shirt? It's over there. In your drawer. Where I told you it was. Six fucking days ago, sir. You don't have to be mean, you know? It's like one of those things where it's just like they get on your nerves and then like you gotta... Uh, like, just snap that shit a little bit before, like, it gets too far, and then they want to whine and shit. Like, it's kind of like this guy, but I guess he's got jealousy, too. Something about a pairing in the past. Maybe you were very focused on, like, the, uh, relationship from back in the day. And you might be separating from a king of wands, too. Ooh. Yeah, this dude causes a lot of fucking arguments and problems. This seems like it's just out of order. Like, something happened where business was shut down. You know. This guy just wants to be happy over here. Or maybe you're happy that you're not with him anymore. And there's no reason to keep up with this shit. Because all this do dude does is, like, argue and shit. And you're just ready to cut that. It's just like, what am, I going to, what am I doing with this? It does nothing for me. It makes me all pissy and shit. You know. You need balance. And you need to figure out what it is you're going to cut the fuck out out of all of this shit. Because this dude doesn't bring you balance. And this dude just seems like you're just done with him. Even though there might be this happy-esque picture. Like, maybe there was a separation of sorts. But maybe you guys still live together. I don't know. But there's something over here in the past that's given you anxiety. Like a partnership of something. Maybe it's, I don't know, like the one who got away or some shit. You focus on that a lot. And how, like, everything went out of order and how balance was needed. I don't know. You might be plagued with knowing you have to make decisions, Libra, too. That might be a problem. But that's for your week this week. Oh, my God. Come hard. There we go. Okay. Aquarius! Next, bitch. Read them and weep. Spread them. Oh, you manifesting to break some hearts so you are happy all on your own. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. You are, you, like, you are unbothered. Unbothered, unwrestled, unbeautified. Just be like, look at this bird. I'm too busy holding this bird to give this cup away. Go fuck yourself. You know? Yeah, what you're manifesting, though, is... I think you're manifesting some... Wait. It's either you or some of you are dealing with Aquarius who's, like, trying to manifest. But it's like you've already turned your head and it's just like, I don't want that shit. Go. Get. Get on. You know? Yeah, and this shit just leaves you too... In... That shit just leaves you questioning shit. And you find no reason to even try to, uh, be in a relationship at this point, you know? Uh, and plus, the Wheel of Fortune is moving on this stuff right here to where, like, this offer that isn't being delivered is probably going to be obsolete soon. Oh, and someone... Ooh. That's the Empress and her age. This is a young Empress, right? There might be somebody who... Is, this might be your mommy. 
or someone who's trying to be your mommy, or someone who's trying to act like a parent, or just a bitter spouse, if you will. Being on like, you need to get over here now. Like, or something, you know, like, that's probably what's making you indecisive. It could also be you being um, really annoyed because you don't know what to do. Because you really feel like you need a break this week, Aquarius. Just a little bit. Just enough. Let's see. Yeah, we got a queen of pentacles over here. She's reversed. She's just all mad and shit. Wants stuff. It's not like she's gonna, it's not like she can't buy her own shit, but it's just like she wants you to get her shit, right? Might also be a cheating spouse. Unfaithful spouse. Unhappy mother. And you're not really trying to wait on this at all. However, um, what you're not trying to wait on, you are at a crossroads with. So you might be at a point where you're going to move to try to fix some shit. You know, like whatever it is you're manifesting, you don't have time to be delivering shit. You're trying to make the wheel turn. Possibly on this dude right here. Or the wheel will turn and like a dude here is going to try to come up while you're at your crossroads. Well after you've decided to uh, leave shit alone. Right? Right. Now you're all good in your garden. You don't want to come together because you're taking a break. Which is why this is here. And this is just an annoyance trying to get over here. While you're trying to get here. <clears throat> You're not offering your cup, but it's the indecision that might be fucking you up, too. It might just be putting you in a pissed off mood, like, I don't know what to do at this point. Like, I've literally shot myself out of a cannon, and here you are, when I'm trying to move to do something different, trying to get back in to whatever it is you want me to do for you, as if I'm responsible. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm your mother. Like, I'm your mother. I don't know where you thought I was your mother, but you need to go back to your mommy if you think that that's what... Like, it's almost like you're trying to have that conversation with somebody, and this person's like, yeah, but... You're not my mommy, but you do a better job than my mommy, and that's why I love you. It's just like, you just sit here and you bash your head off the table just being like, they don't get it. Why don't they get it? It's like you're out. And they're still coming up, just being like, you know, hey, I got some pentacles, but hey, could you spare me some of yours? And it's just like, are you serious? <laughs> no. And to the O. No. <laughs> but that's what I got for your week, Aquarius. So, Air Signs, this was your Shadow of Judgment. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. You know, I appreciate it. But you don't have to if you don't want to. No pressure, of course. But you guys try to have a good week. I love your faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.